Super Welterweight Championship of the World, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Matthew Magic Hatton. Underway, round one. Good right. That I've seen in the past. He's not a guy who comes in with speed and mediocre power. He has exceptional. I don't think he has the power to make Alvarez respect him at all. So there's no way really for Wait, he came into this fight better condition. This Cantley has 16 knockouts. The jab that Alvarez has, he loves it up. The only thing you have to wonder about about a fighter like Alvarez, they will cause him to tire more in the long run if he doesn't get a quick knockout. Good opening round of his 12 rounds. A 7 of 42 overall. Hatton comes. It's clean. Doubles up that left hand. And Duck Hunt, on. he's picking shots and just banging them on Hatton, and that's not going to work good for Hatton in the long run. I, I got to tell you, so far I think Matthew Hatton's fighting pretty well under the circumstances, you know? Oh, oh, good left hook. Speaking of baseball metaphors, I mentioned before, the punch, uh, thighs, got a lot of power base. Everything about him was against the Mexican. The and he uses that hook to the body. Does Alvarez. Hand to the nose and some blood from Hatton's nose from Alvarez. Oh, good left hook, right hand. They both Alvarez is hurt more. No respect at all for Hatton's power. Number two. He really started to walk. Boy, tell us what that feels like. I mean, you experienced the chance of doing anything to hurt you. And that's what... Point. You know, like, the point here is to see how long... Alvarez opens up. Left hand from Hatton. Alvarez. That he will have to change later on is that he's not afraid. Hasn't really learned respect for a punch yet. Movement right. would serve him well. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. To improve on, I mean, immediately. Because if he becomes champ tonight, he's going to become a target right away. Out of guys sitting at home right now, such as Winky Wright. End of round three. Up three to nothing, 30 to 27. Canelo Alvarez, six, seven shots at a time, and he lands most of them. Like that. He's wearing a Japanese boxing glove. Yeah. But he's got the boxing glove. Three to nothing, Alvarez. July 18th. Talk about the heat. <laughs> there are going to be some classic oh, wars that hurt. in his future. That yeah. hurt really bad. You saw Hatton sort of cub hit the sweet spot. Then he goes with a right hook to the body and a right cross from Alvarez. Alvarez doubles up that left again and a right. Oh, good shot. Look on as he proceeds to go forward with his career. Left, right to the body, right to the head from Alvarez. He got to work on that defense. Well, we know that if he's anything like his brother, that's one thing he definitely is. Definitely not as hard of a puncher. Ten seconds. Yes, they will, though. Been cut. This fight gets stopped because of that cut later on. It's a win for Alvarez. Oh, you're making a voice for yourself. The hat will just go at him. Stop the fight because of the cut on a clean shot. I mean, like his brother was really coming at Canelo hard. He's found out a lot about. Even then, he's so over. He's so out. One, it was a closer fight in '99-'91. I mentioned earlier. Good the body by Alvarez again. With Alvarez. He's just too small. Found Alvarez's waist. Get him in. We come to the end of round number five on HBO Classics. On HBO's Boxing After Dark. It's over and we're all long gone. Uh, and I was going to say to Alvarez. Tough guys early in his career when he was a teenager. 
35 wins in a row. I don't care what nobody say. Intrigue in his fights. You never saw Roy Jones. Or daddy type fight, and that was on purpose. <laughs> stop, 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 break. First brawler and wound up a consummate boxer punch. Right. That Alvarez has the tools to wind up a consummate boxer punch. No. Attitude is kill, kill, kill. But that's attitude you want to have. If your mentality is kill, 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 and you punch like he punches, and you're built like he's right. built, Let then go. that attitude is going to rain some to get hit. Really, you think that? First time I saw him, I said, he'll pound for pound this. Not because of his offense. If you look at this kid here, he's different because he don't care. He certainly likes throwing Already up. a top five ticket seller, it seems. <laughs> In the scheduled 12 rounder between... the 54, Canelo Alvarez, California. The doctor has the right to stop the fight. If the doctor's right. sitting there and he says to himself, Hatton's taking it out. You feel the will of Alvarez just wearing and wearing and wearing a hat and water combination. But run over him, Roy. No, he's not. He did a very small what he's doing. Until that. You think he's afraid of the fans? He's supposed to grab that fighter by the glove and say one point from this guy. Body shot from Alvarez on Hatton here in round seven. Listen to this crowd music. Hatton's only been stopped once in his career. Fights back and eats a right hand. Hatton comes back with a. Looks like Hatton has weathered the storm here in round seven. Just to play ahead and get it. <laughs> I think he's going to get it, boy. <laughs> Brown, according to CompuBox, Alvarez landed 33 punches total. You can't outbox this kid because the kid punches outside. So why would you stay out as he can? That's the safest thing for him. Alvarez kind of missed with that right hand. See that? See that? See the room is getting with that? Because he has not been able to win the shots really quick change. He does. That's the shots he wants right there because Hatton is giving him room to throw those. Yeah. Alvarez opens up at the end. Hook to the bottom to this kid. Of course, Joe Frazier and the list goes on. Hatton tells me he'd be on weight. Uh. As many shots as he takes, that's just two, I told you. Big shots take a lot out of the fight. Especially the one catching him. Oh, good Ooh. shot. Good shot. That's what he's been looking for. Beautiful triple left hook. Brett, Alvarez's power. Good. Hatton is as game as a bite. Look at one. I'm going to shut out and the panic is out in front. Anyway, one even. I, I don't think he would have gotten. I'm protecting that chin. Uh, he got caught. Right, it's amazing. At 20 years old. Yeah, but I can guarantee you, Hatton has Hello. He is a prodigy at the age of 20 to be fighting at the level he's fighting and to already have the resume he has. Oh, oh, blow, blow, blow by Hatton. Oh. And then... Yeah. Now oh, Alvarez yeah. himself to get tied up this time. Oh, oh he wants to... Yeah, I love how Alvarez pivots around and throws that left hand. Great right hand off the left. Combination from Alvarez. 11. A 154 isn't a really good fighter. The hardest. <laughs> which, is, which is why when you get a Manny Pacquiao, you thank your lucky stars. <laughs> yes. Barkley ran over him in two rounds it, eventually. Exactly. Hatton's endured a lot of punishment, but he keeps hanging in there and oh. trying to get his big shots off. Connect with people the way he's connected. 
<laughs> Mexican fighter. So yet he gives the crowd their money's worth. Right, he's not afraid to share punches. Oh, good fighter. Uh, yeah, action-packed figure waiting to happen in boxing. Let's see action. They want to see a guy who doesn't care. And still trying to win. And that's what's on the line. At stake, no knockdowns in the fight. Made on his right side, Hatton did, and Alvarez did. Oh, good shot. Now hold. Now go. The limited tools that he has, he's given it a one heck of an effort. Yeah, I mean, he changed the story of the fight from Ken Ken Alvarez, the 20-year-old out of Mexico. Using left hands to the body all night long. Hatton with a comment. Good left shot. and a right to the end. Hatton's game, he's going to make it to the end. <laughs> the winner by unanimous decision, Saul Canelo. <laughs>